hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking in this video i'm going to show you how to fix overheating problems in your laptop computer so basically we have a computer here it's a laptop computer hp probook 645g1 so it's hp probook 645g1 and this laptop it has a waiting problem so the owner brought the laptop saying that he can't work on the laptop freely or comfortably because whenever it tries to play games or rather music the laptop becomes very hot and the fan produces a very disturbing sound so basically he wants the problem to be fixed and to go through the overheating issue you have to follow two approaches the first one is software approach you know you troubleshoot the software issues to fix the overheating problem and most importantly is the hardware approach through which you can add thermal paste to the uh, device processor or you clean the dust from the device so you know this laptop is a very clean laptop and i believe the processor the thermal paste on the processor side is dried up so basically i'll clean the thermal paste and add a new one okay so for this video guys and if you know you have not subscribed to our channel we really plead with you to support our channel click on the subscribe button like our video and drop a comment below thank you guys and let's begin so the first step is always to remove the battery from the laptop suppose it's portable okay so make sure you remove the battery first before you may begin the hardware repairs okay then make sure you remove the laptop's rear cover the cover is shown in the video there's something holding it just press on it and it will be removed easily as shown okay and now here are the parts of the laptop that is a hard disk we have the rams there and uh, we have the fan and uh, the metal that is all is protecting our processor as shown so basically guys what we're gonna do is to first to remove the cd-rom drive dvd drive you know so basically it's always having um, one screw attached to the laptop's uh, motherboard so make sure you remove the screw first you make sure you remove the screws first then you gently but firmly remove the cd cd drive then you remove the hard disk it's attached to the mother motherboard as through some buses as you can see just remove gently as shown there and then also you remove rams make sure you remove rams can you see how i press them you press them outwards see you press them outwards and then they come out uh, very very easily that shown here okay and uh, most importantly guys most importantly guys is the keyboard you know it's always very important because there are some keyboards that uh, are removable so this is a keyboard that is removable and there are some screws that attach to the keyboard so you have to identify the screws that are attached to the keyboard so these screws are always labeled with an icon of a keyboard so whenever you see an icon of a keyboard next to a screw hole just know that that screw is attached to the keyboard remove it before you can remove the keyboard itself okay and select the the right screwdriver the flat one and gently press inward and remove this the keyboard okay and remove the connecting part that the, that connects the keyboard to the motherboard for communication and also for the the touchpad side okay okay all right so we go back to the rear side the back side i mean and start uh, removing some parts also before we can reach uh, our target which was the processor part to add the thermal paste a thermal paste basically is a uh, that kind of a, a paste that will uh, help in uh, reducing overheating in the laptops okay thermal paste has a high heat conductivity so it will conduct heat from the processor then to the copper rod then the copper rod will take it to the 
fan and the fan will expel it outside okay so guys as you can see we are removing the cover make sure you always be gentle but firm when you remove the cover because sometimes you might uh, forget other screws and they attach the key the motherboard and if you force things here you will damage your laptop so you be gentle but very firm if you feel some part is hard check it again and remove the screws that uh, are holding it but make sure you become very gentle but firm okay as you can see it's removed so basically what you're gonna do is to carry on with our stage so that's a CMOS battery as you can see then next to the CMOS battery is a video card video graphic card as you can see then you have the fan there and the, the casing that is protecting our processor so the first thing to do as you can see that's the thermal paste that's the sharing that is containing the thermal paste so we remove our the casing that is protecting our processor and how to do it guys we rem we remove the screws diagonally so make it diagonal okay don't do upper parts then come back to lower parts that will exert pressure on the lower part so remove it diagonally so that the pressure is uniform as you see i'm doing it i go diagonally see because if you remove one side first meaning the other side will be pressed and the pressure can damage the lap the, the process i mean okay then remove the fan make sure i remove the fan first remove the screws then you remove the tight uh, bars to the processor to the motherboard i mean select the right screwdriver then remove it and the screws you remove the fan files as you can see that's our fan fan is a very important part in laptop system is in a computer system i mean then you make sure you remove the casing that is protecting our processor that's a very important casing because you know it's the one that is uh conducting away much heat from the processor so that is our processor as you can see the thermal paste is really dried up and we need to replace the thermal paste so basically we need to clean other parts can use toothbrush as we said i mean we need to clean dust suppose the laptop is very dusty and then uh, we had thermal paste to the processor side and also the video graphic card so guys we can remove the existing thermal paste the dried one from the the metal casing that is protecting our processor using a tissue paper as shown in the video make sure you clean away all the whole thermal paste okay so that the metal is very clean for the new thermal paste and also to the motherboard side make sure you clean the processor using the tissue paper so that you can remove all the existing dried up thermal paste as shown in the video make sure you make it very clean as i am just doing in the video rub it gently don't force things man because you might damage your processor and if possible use a toothbrush to clean away both sides okay so also the video card video graphic card clean the existing old thermal paste shown use the tooth use a toothbrush if possible and then you begin the business also make sure you clean the heat sink okay and also possible you do for the keyboard and then uh, let's just see you you clean the part on the casing for the video graphic card you see that part is attaching to the video graphic card right okay so we are gonna hard time paste that too so guys basically you know you want to start adding thermo paste to the processor side so we start with the metallic casing okay or rather we start from the motherboard side so make sure you had a piece size 
paste on the on both side I mean and now on the metal casing make the thumb paste spread all over the available area okay all right so let's see what's next make it spread all over the area for high heat conductivity high surface area will conduct a lot of it and put it back again put it back very gentle but firmly make sure you be accurate precision is very important here and how to screw it again make it diagonal just how I have said don't do it one side first because when you do one side first you exert pressure on the other side and it can damage your process okay and then we return the fan to its place make sure you do it very firm and gently okay make sure you do it very very gently because you know even first things it might damage the process connect it back to the motherboard as shown in the video very gently don't forget to return anything make sure you connect everything the way they were because you might finish your job then you find that one thing is not functioning that will force you to open the laptop again okay then you will make uh, the screws in, in their places okay the fan is in its place very firmly and then we turn the cover no it's not the cover we apply thermal paste to the video graphic card see the video graphic card one side is on the cover the casing the outer casing and the video card itself is on the motherboard so we put thermal paste on the video graphic card okay only on that part okay as shown because you know it's video graphic card is also producing a lot of it when you try to play game or you know videos music etc so it's all it's also producing a lot of it and it needs thermal paste and then finally return the outer casing make it in its place and uh, make sure that uh, you return all the screws the way you remove them and then uh, let's see what's next return the DVD drive CD-ROM CD-ROM return the CD-ROM CD-ROM drive make sure you return it very perfectly the way it is there it's shown okay and then also apply screws to attach the motherboard so that it doesn't fall and also other parts apply screws and make it you know in its place press it gently but firmly and uh, also put back all the parts that we removed like uh, the hard disk that's the hard disk that contains all the information okay that's where all the information all information is stored then you put the RAM memory when the RAM is not there the, you won't see screen the screen will be black okay so RAM basically is a very important part in a laptop and hard disk also every part in a laptop is very important okay okay so what uh, is remaining basically is to see if uh, let, let's see let's see what's next let's put back the screws let's put back the screws and then we do it very quick and then we put back the keyboard okay make sure you connect it back the way it was so that uh, you don't miss anything when you are finished your job the way it is put it back and press it gently but firmly 
now it is it is in in it is in its place press it that way now it's okay we now go back to the other side and fix the screws that are touching it through the motherboard so we make sure that we we return everything the way they were as shown and then finally we return the battery and boom we are done fixing the problem and now let's test our laptop if it's working we'll try to power on the laptop to test if it's working and let's just wait let's whoa hp as you can see it's working meaning everything is connected the way they were and no other part has been left out so let's just give it time to see if it's bringing any logins just give it time it's a very powerful laptop the owner use it to play games and other functionalities so basically i think this will help you know how to solve any overheating problem in your laptops bye and see you again next class please subscribe to my channel bye